Hello people, welcome to another tutorial. In case you are new to this channel, my name is Agnes. In today's tutorial, we are going to be doing these jogger pants. It's my first time doing pants and I think I like them. I wanted something, you know, cozy, something warm for the winter that is coming. And yeah, this is what I came up with. As you can see, you can wear them low low or high high waist or low waist and uh, yeah you will need your hips measurements to do this and uh, this is what i'll be using you will need a tape measure to take your hips measurements right hips measurements that's very important and um, this is the color will be the yarn i'll be using for the contrast it doesn't really give so much information i bought this on amazon it's 80 percent cotton and 20 percent milk uh, cotton 50 grams it says the size is 2.5 millimeter it uh, recommends three to four millimeter hook um, and i used also this milk cotton yarn also doesn't give much information i got it all amazon i used 10 for the white and one and a quarter for the other one so i'll be using a 4.0 millimeter hook right and yeah let's get started so we'll start from the top and we are going to start with the waist so we are going to make a chain that is equivalent to our hips measurements subtract five inches so i took my hips measurements which is 33 subtracted five inches so i'll measure i'll make a chain that is equivalent to 28 inches All right, so you have your chain that is equivalent to your hips measurements minus five inches, right? Mine is 28 inches because I got uh, 33 inches, which are my hips measurements. Take away five, then I remain with 28. So take, take a um, tape measure, measure your hips in inches or in centimeters. What you get, subtract five inches, and that's how long the chain you will make, all right? So we are going to make sure this chain is uh, straight. So straighten up the chain like this. And we are going to close it off. So from the last chain to the first chain, you are going to join that using a slip stitch. So like this, one end to the other end, using a slip stitch just to make the waist. And I'm just going to yarn over and slip stitch through like this all right so this is our waist so on row one we are going to chain two and start our row one and in this very first stitch we are going to make a double crochet chain is not counting as a stitch so go into that very first one make a double crochet go into your next stitch make a double crochet Go into your third stitch, make your third double crochet. And for this row, we are going to use the double crochet from the start to the end. So go into every chain with a double crochet and I will meet you once you are at the end of this row so that we, I can show you how to close it off. All right. Go around till here. All right, so I'm coming to the end of the row. This is my last chain, so my last stitch. And leave alone this where the chain is. So we're going to go on top of the chain two and make a slip stitch to join this, like this. All right, so this is how it looks so far. And now we are going to go to row two. So row two, we are going to chain two and we are going to be using front post and back post. So I'm going to make a front post here by putting my hook under this first double crochet like this, right? And then make a front post. So we have three loops, pull through two, pull through two. So it's like a double crochet just goes, you know, like that so next is a back post so i'm going to go over the double crochet like this see how i pressed placed my hook so next is going to be a front post and for the front post we go under the double crochet like this with a hook 
okay and next is going to be a back post and we go over the double crochet like this from the back you see and next is a front post so we go under like this then a back post over from the back like this so this is going to be a row of front post and back post front post and back post all right alternating front post back post front post back post and i will meet you at the end of this row so that we can begin on row three all right this is how it looks and this is the back okay continue until here all right so i'm coming to the end and this is my last stitch which is a front post you could be having a back post doesn't matter so and we are going to close this row off by slip stitching on top of the chain two on top of the chain two okay like that so for row three we are going to chain two and where we had a front post we will do a front post so this is our first this is the chain and this is you know how it looks like this right so where we had our first front post is where we'll put this front post just go in under it like that and where we had a back post we will make a back post like this okay next is a front post and where we had a back post then we'll make a back post front post is next and then back post and you are going to do this for row three row four row five depends on how wide you want uh, your, your your waistband to be i did five rows but you can do six you can do seven you can do three depends on you and you don't have to use multi colors you can do one single color really it's up to you totally all right so i'll see you once you're done with your waistband so that we can start on the pants okay just keep going round round with front post and back post until you have the size that you want okay so this is what i have i did five rows and now we are going to work on the rest and i will be using the white color milk cotton yarn for my size it's an extra small it can fit a small i think so i'm going to change color this last uh, front post i will not finish it off i'll use the other color to finish it off and then close with a slip stitch like this all right so this yarn after i was done it was quite heavy right so yeah you might consider using a different type of yarn especially this white yarn was really heavy okay so i am going to chain two and we're going to use double crochet for this so i'm just going to go on on top of this previous front post and from now from now on this chain chain two will count as a stitch okay so i'm just going to go on, for, on over this front post and make a normal double crochet go over the back post and make a normal double crochet so for this row it's going to be a row of double crochets go on every stitch in every stitch and make a double crochet like this so it's a row of double crochets so i'll meet you once you're at the end of this row so you can start on the second row of double crochets all right so i'm coming to the end and this is how it looks so far and on top of this one is where i'm going to put my last stitch on top of this last front post like that and then i'm going to go on top of the chain two and make a slip stitch to close it off 
right so i'm going to chain two this chain two counts as a stitch so we are working the same direction so on top of the previous double crochet i'll make my double crochet you see they're in line on top of the next double crochet i'll make my double crochet like that so basically it's going to be another row of double crochets go in every stitch with one double crochet all right so do that uh, all around double crochet in every stitch and i'll meet you at the end of the row so that we can do row three and yeah So I'm coming to the end of the row and this is how we finish it off. So this is going to be my last double crochet. It's up, it's on top of the previous double crochet. All right. And then I will just go into the chain on top of the chain two and make a slip stitch like that. Then chain two and start again. Where there's a double crochet, I'll make a double crochet. Next is a double crochet and i'll make double crochets in every stitch and i'm going to do this all round and round and round until i i want to make the the leg area the crotch area so i'll come tell you how many inches i did for my size which is an extra small hips 33. all right so i went on and did nine inches so you can tell from my pictures that i put on at first if you like how long it is or if you want it shorter then you can reduce or increase on that so you see this is where we're ending and finishing our rows i want this to be on the side so i put it on the side like this you can count all the stitches around and make sure half of that is on the other side right Put a stitch mark on this other side once you have half of the stitches like this because now i want to do the leg hole so then count all the stitches from one side to the other side and divide them into two and put on this side also do the same for the other side and put on a stitch marker on the other side so now this will be one leg hole and this will be the other leg hole all right so we want to join here for the crotch area okay do the counting put the stitch markers and then we we are going to do the crotch area where we're starting and ending our rows i wanted it on the side okay we are going to make a chain here so for the chain for the crotch area i'm going to take out my stitch marker and reattach my yarn and then i'm going to chain uh, three inches of chain so this three inch of, ch of chain can go for a size extra small small and for a medium you may want to do three and a half if you don't want it so buggy at the bottom you can keep the three or if you're doing a much bigger size you can make maybe four inches depends on how buggy you want it to be all right so i'll just keep you know trying to see yeah i think i have the three inches now so like for a size extra large you might want to do four inches maybe for size uh, medium to large you might want to do 3.5 inches so i'll join this with a slip stitch on the other side right like this but I want to start and end my row in the middle of the like the thigh, not on the like on the side. So I'm just going to slip stitch up to the middle part. Okay, so I'm just going to count my stitches and know where the middle is. So I will start here and make a slip stitch. And I'm going to slip stitch all the way to the middle side. 
Okay, I think I just leave this out because this is not making sense. Okay, so I start here. And I'm going to slip stitch all the way to the middle. And once I'm in the middle, that's where I will start my row because I want my rows to start, you know, inside the thigh. Does that make sense? Instead of like the front because, you know, I don't want it to be so visible. So to start the row, once you get to the middle, start the row, you will chain two and make a double crochet. Go into the next uh, chain, make a double crochet. Go into the next chain, make a double crochet. So one, we are now working on the one, the first leg hole, and you're going to make double crochets along the chain. And once you get to this part, it can get tricky because you don't, you know, let me show you. So if I did this, It's just like leaving a gap that I don't like, so I'll just put this off and work in this chain where we, at we attached our yarn. And then instead of going to this top stitch here, I'll jo just stitch here, I'll go at the bottom so that it is more secure and it's not leaving a hole. So like that and then from here we are just working you know it's now clear the stitches are clear so we just work double crochets in every stitch okay and you are going to go all around right this is how it looks okay so you go all around and i will meet you on this other side here before the chain all right so i'm here right before the chain and uh, yeah so this you're also going to just work it the way it works and i just go down here so that it's not leaving a hole and try to figure out here you know this this leaves a hole so also just try to fix it like that okay So I'll just work in that space and then now I'll work in this one. So depends on how you see your work looking, okay? You don't want to leave holes, so I'll just try fix it, you know, inserting some stitches and yeah, it will work out like this. It's kind of hard to work in the slip stitches, so I'll be going all the way below to the chain over the slip stitch like this. Then it gets easier. All right, so we are coming to the end of this first row on our first leg hole. This was the only difficult part. And after this, then it's just, you know, double crochets in every stitch, just like we did for the top part. This is how it looks. And then you're going to chain two. And where there was a double crochet, make a double crochet. Like this, double crochets on top of the previous double crochets. So make a double crochet in every stitch. And we are going to go all around. It's simple as that. There's no decreasing, there's no increasing. From here, it's just going around with the same number of stitches. Go around, go around, go around until you get to the length that you want. All right, around, around, around until you get to the length that you want of your first uh, leg all right this is how it looks and yeah just keep doing that once you have the the, the height that you want then i'll come we put the ribbing okay 
Once we have the ribbing, then we can start on the other leg hole, which is basically the same thing. All right? So I'm done, and I did a total number of 34 inches from top to bottom, where I am now before the... The, the ribbing at the bottom okay it's 34 inches so you can make it longer you can make it shorter if you want if you think mine is too long uh, it's really up to you at this point all right so i'm going to change color because i want to do the ribbing with this other multicolor yarn close this with a slip stitch and for this next next row we want to you know uh, change the size so we are going to make decreases and we are going to make decreases on this row of the first front post and back post this is what we'll be using so i'm going to chain two and instead of making a under one we will make it under two stitches so i'm going under two double crochets and make a front post so the back post will be the same so i'll go over two double crochets to make a back post so we are making decreases right so the next i'll go under two double crochets to make a front post and next i'll go over two to make a back post so we are going over two stitches not one okay over two stitches and then by the end of it, we'll have decreased this leg hole into half, right? So we are going over two stitches, go all around until back. So I'm back and this is how it looks, right? So we want to close this off with a slip stitch. And now from here, you know the drill. So where we have a front post, you put a front post. And where we have a back post, you are going to make a back post. So the decrease was only for only for that first row. So now here it's easy. Front post, back post. Front post. Sorry, back post and then front post. Yeah. So it's easy like that. Um, yeah. So you are going to go all around, all around until you have the number of uh, rows that you want. I did a total number of six rows with this color, right? I'll come show you once I'm done so that we can start on the second leg hole, all right? So I'm done and this is how it looks like, six rows of front post and back post. And yeah, so we are going to start on our second leg hole and we will start from where we started our row. So where we're starting and ending our row, it was here, right? In the, like in, in the inner thigh. So I'm just going to reattach my yarn. And then chain uh, two. So this part is going to be easy. So just go where you have a previous double crochet on the other leg hole, then you'll make a double crochet on this side of the leg hole, of the other leg hole. Okay, so go into the next stitch on the next chain and make a double crochet into the next one and make a double crochet. So it's uh, quite easy. So do that and um, until you get to the corner and I'll just show you how I did that corner there. Okay, I'm just going in between the stitches just so that it's secure. 
so the corner this is how i'm going to do it if i do here at the top in the in this hole then it will leave a hole so instead i'll go down like this okay and then i'll come and just work on top of this double crochet on the other side and now it is clear we have just double crochets all around so you are going to go all around just like we did for the other one all right go all around once you get to this corner just work below here and then come here then go around 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 until you have the same number of rows as you had for the other leg hole then do the ribbing i already showed you how to do that um and yeah that will be it and then we'll come do the waist waist band the waist sorry the chain so these leg holes are should be identical all right same number of rows and then we'll do the waist all right so i'm done with both legs this is how it looks like okay so now for the waist we need the drawstring okay so let's chain the drawstring so i made a long chain that goes around my waist and has excess to be able to tie and i'm just going to get this through so i just get my Dunning, dunning needle and put in the yarn that I left on the drawstring. Why is this hard? All right, so I'm just going to go in the middle here, the front, and then pass my needle through like this between the front post and back posts. And then just pull it through and i'm going to go all around until i come back where i started okay put that through once you're done that will be it and yeah i hope you like it so i'll come show you how it fits on me so this is it guys after you put it on after i put it on so this is how it looks the bottom i love the the contrast with the colors and i hope you like it i can't wait to wear this like all winter long really it's warm it's cozy and i like it i'm going to make a matching sweater so stay tuned for that because you don't want to miss it and uh yeah thanks for watching and I uh, will see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye, guys.